Hi guys, it's Mixer, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Spooky's House of Jump Scares. Okay, it's an empty note there, that's kind of weird. That definitely wasn't... I hate you so much sometimes, game, I really do. Anyway, we're going to continue with our adventure. Couldn't actually load my save game with this, uh, to begin with. Um, but fortunately the Steam forums came to my rescue and I was eventually able to, so that's always good. Anyway, let's try and get to floor 900 is the next goal. I also appear to not have the axe anymore, which could be an issue as well, but we'll see. See what happens, shall we, huh? Now, what the fuck? What the fuck are we? Wow, what a mansion inside another mansion. Maybe I've made it all the way to the end of this house. Maybe this is like a resting place or another entrance, perhaps. Whatever the case, I think this is a good spot to rest. I'm guessing it's not. I'm guessing it's probably a bum place. I can hear him coming down the hallway, I need to hide. But I don't know where. Shit! Uh, here, go! What the fuck was that? What the fuck? It's creepy music playing, so I can hear him coming, I can hear him coming. Do I just wait here till the music stops? There's no one there. Oh, shit. No, you don't. Shut the fuck up. Oh. Oh, this is like Clock Tower. No, I'm not. Fuck off. Well, that was pretty terrifying. Okay, so this is like clock tower. I'm assuming if I get caught, I get dead. I think the bricks and wood are actually just painted on. Everything still feels kind of fake. Also, back here, hearing movement and voices behind me. Maybe other survivors are hiding down there? I wouldn't hedge your bets on it. Fucking hell, that was nasty. Right. I guess we go upstairs. This all ties around. Alright, where are we going? Locked. They're all fucking locked. Did I miss a key? I'm really scared. At least it's pretty easy to hide. You can, you can hear him coming anyway. What the f is there a fucking key here? No. Fuck. Well then where the fuck do I go? Oh. Bedroom key picked up. Okay, that's progress. I'm guessing each room's gonna have like a distinct hiding place. Just a question of finding out which room this key is for. But yeah, I don't have my axe. I still managed to get away, but I don't know how, how long. I hear him even when I know he's not there. It's like he isn't even real, but instead my own fears manifesting themselves and stalking me. Anything in here like a key? Obvious secret wall here, by the way. Can I go in here? 
Oh shit. Go. Hide in the cupboard. Yep. Whew. We are not moving until he is fucked off again. So I'm be stuck at room 810 for a while, it seems. Oh god. Nope. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Um, why don't you go eat a bag of dicks? <laughs> okay, he's gone. And he dropped a key. How convenient. So presumably to one of these doors down here. This one. Got a key. Let's try the other side, I guess. Oh shit. Here. Okay, cool. Just wait here. Just chill out. Fucking hell, I was about to go and look at that thing that was on the table. It was like, could be interesting, could be useful. I don't like the fact I haven't got my axe. Like, I don't know if the game's bugged or not. We'll figure it out anyway, guys, don't worry. Having a good time over there? Fuck off. You make me sickle. <laughs> I like the glitchiness of it, like the way it's like a bit of hump in the wall. Like a clock tower to scissor man. Fake book picked up, well we know where that goes in the library. Here. This is not good. This is not good, guys. He's gonna be down here, like, chasing me or some shit. The rooms are still not going up either, this is all still part of the shit. Fuck me. Fucking hate this cunt! You don't have a long space of time either, and to hide. Oh, please don't get me. He's humping the wardrobe. I'm guessing the AI isn't advanced enough to fuck me over yet, but we'll see. Oh, shut the fuck up! Just leave! Wall hamper. I hear you. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, it's my dick in this hole. Jesus Christ, fuck off. Exit key picked up. Well, that sounds numb. right there. He's right there. Go. There must be the store back here, right? Yes. He's chasing me. He's chasing me. 812. He's coming for me. Fuck! He can leave this area, right? That's fuck! Go, 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 go. No fucking around here. Just keep going. 
If that had been locked, I probably would be dead. Fuck. Fucking him, fuck. He's still coming. He's still coming. Come on. Longest corridor fucking ever. Come on, just go. Just go. Oh my god, come on. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Please stop music. Oh, have I ever been so relieved to hear that fucking sound? <sighs> oh, what the fuck now? Something will be after me again. I've definitely lost my axe. That room would have killed me before, right? Definitely lost my axe. Forward. 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 Left. There you go, first time. I don't know if this is meant to happen or not, but whatever. We'll figure it out together. I know I need the uh, axe for the last boss, someone said. So if I'm glitched, that's kind of shitty. But maybe there's a way of getting it back. If I have to, we'll see. Okay, left, 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 right, nope, left, left, forward, left, nope. left, left, forward, forward, there we go. <sighs> Did not do much for my health. The fact that all this shit can like come after me now. You know what I mean? There's all these different things that it could be. Someone's coming. Don't know what it is. Is that the parasite? If it's a parasite, I'm literally dead, by the way. Just for the record. Probably the puppy, I bet something horrible happens though. Fuck is that noise? Oh, I think you saved me, Arcadrim. I can't remember what this story. I can't remember what noise this is. It's a spider. Oh my god, it's a spider. Thank fuck for that. I'd rather it was you than like literally probably anything else in the game, dude. I can handle you. I haven't got an axe, but fuck me, it's just a spider. It's just a spider. It's just a spider. Oh my god, it's just a fucking spider. I don't care. I mean, you're gonna kill me, maybe, but I'd rather you than anyone else. Anyone else? Why did you have to leave so soon? Couldn't you have stuck till we like room 890? That'd have been great. Room 890. That'd have been great if you'd stuck with me the whole way. Now there's gonna be something else. Jesus Christ, I shut myself! Keep going. <laughs> Fucking pop ups, I hate you. Just relentless now. Surprise if anything would kill me in this place, it would be those. I'm more scared of the pop ups than I am fucking the fucking demon that I didn't see. 
you know? Oh, what the fuck is this? The fuck was that? How did I react? Go. What the fuck was that? I don't even know what just happened. Why am I not dead? Is my game bugged or some shit? So this is the manor. Okay, so there's only one specimen left that I haven't seen. Specimen 13. An ancient water dwelling creature believed to be lost soul who died tragically during deluge. Provide extremely effective against subjects who could not swim or fell into specimens lure. Great. Well, that's what's waiting for me. Nothing come after me, please nothing come after me. Please nothing come after me. We're so close. <sighs> right, left. 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 Right. So left, left. Forward. Did it. Four rooms to go. Just get through this, that would be great my axe back. That's new. That's a new sound. Just go. Made it. Fuck you, game. We made it to floor 900. Hope you enjoyed this installment of Spooky House of Jump Scares, guys. If you did, hit that like button, and I will see you in the next part. Hopefully, we'll figure out the axe situation, but yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys really soon. Bye for now. Have a great day. Bye! Are you fucking kidding me? My love, even though you've not born, been born yet, I can feel already your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was talent and ambition. Now against all odds, I have a career, a loving husband and you. I've never been a deeply religious person. I guess what other people look at for in sermon, I found in perfecting my art. But now I can't help but feel like there's a higher power watching over me. He once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now I am playing solo at concerts at some of the most prestigious venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character and I would never find a soulmate. Guess again.